How's it going everybody? This is Rob Novacast back with another video where we talk about Elfin Lead. And this is talking about episode 7 of the series. And oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So we kind of start off the episode with uh, Nana versus Bato. Um, kind of at first Nana not wanting to, you know, fight Bato, but Bato ridiculing her, you know, treating her like garbage, kind of goading her, ends up kind of putting her at her breaking point. And in a sense, when Nana fights, she has kind of the same look as as uh, Lucy when she goes on a rampage. And Bato, I, I love the fact that when Bato fights her, he thinks that she has the same capabilities as uh freaking uh lucy because he knows that lucy couldn't reach over two meters which that's different considering nana with granted only two vectors is able to reach at a farther length than lucy and in a previous episode he was cleaning the ble the beach and it turns out there was a reason for that because with the rematch or at least this particular fight there's nothing that that nana can use or even let's say if lucy were to fight use as a projectile so i thought that was pretty cool it ends with um bato his new his rope which i forgot to mention that bato got a robotic arm Ro uh, bato's arm destroyed like completely destroyed because he tried using this bulky um a uh, gun that fires uh, 50 caliber tungsten tungsten bullets and apparently that ultimately ripped apart his arm uh nana ends up you know kind of telling him the fact that she is able to sense other diclonius like her including lucy and she goes off trying to uh, survive. Um, being kind of pushed away by a, uh, a guy that makes crepes because she didn't have any money. Though clearly she does and she doesn't know so or know about it. Uh, proceeds to go where she lost her fight with Lucy. And she is kind of in a sense reunited with Mayu. Who she in the first interaction only got to see for a brief second and they become good friends um what ends up happening next is mayu convinces nana to uh show up at the house that mayu koda yuka and new are staying at only due to the fact that she may end up finding lucy but she becomes unsure since the fact that apparently while being new she can't sense lucy's presence she's she then uh, like near the end of the episode she confirms it's her or at least you know the same person when new near the end of the episode busts open the door and and freaking nana attacks her and that's how the episode ends all in all i will say the moments with mayu and nana are really cool um and i freaking i'm gonna say this probably out of all the characters nana is probably my favorite character um just this innocent character that doesn't know the world that um in a sense is you know, pure innocence to some extent um doesn't want to hurt anybody no matter what happens and only once so far has she been pushed at her breaking point so all in all i'm looking forward to more interactions with her Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by to check out this video. If you guys can, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. 
as well as follow us on social media links are in the description check out gaming content from mj aiden and maggi as well as our daily content on the youtube channel follow us on our podcast which is 6 p.m pacific time on sundays from everybody of novacast thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next video